case, Avail Lich will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? So you made it, did you? <laughs> it's been pretty lively here, ever since the black ships arrived and the port opened up. So, what brought you to Yokohama anyway? Well, what do you know? I'm looking for someone too. And no regular person, let me tell you. I've come to pay showing Yoshida a visit. You must have heard the name. He's a great master whose gaze is fixed firmly on the future. He sees what we could be a century from now, and knows how to achieve it. The truth is, we studied under the same master. But now he has students of his own. You should meet him. He and his students should already be here in the city. They're an interesting bunch, believe me. 
Hey, did no one ever teach you to walk straight? Why, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. My name is Takamurayama. I'm a geisha in the Pleasure District. It would be wonderful if the two of you could pay me a visit. Oh, it would be our pleasure, truly. Uh, we were just discussing heading that way. What marvelous timing. See you soon! Great! Now, come along with me. This calls for a little celebration in the most fun part of town. Come on, the Pleasure District's the best place for gossip. You'll hear all kinds of rumors. And besides, you saw that woman just now, right? There are. You serve the Red Demon. You're supposed to be getting rid of the foreigners. <sighs> Enough. Any more of that nonsense, and you're in serious trouble. Things are getting pretty tense around here. The Red Demon's been busy cracking down on the anti-Shogunate faction. What do people think Blind Panic's going to achieve? They should be spending their time thinking about how we can forge Japan's future. Sakamoto! Don't resist if you know what's good for you! Now, oh, come on! Give up already! Barbarians. I swear, there's barely anyone in Tosa I can reason with. Ah, I think that's where we're headed. That looks like the pleasure district to me. Samurai Taka spoke about. We've been expecting you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's us. How could you tell? She said you are very dashing and that you looked good in leather footwear. I knew it was you straight away. You're clearly very discerning. You'll make a fine geisha. <laughs> My name is Kichi. Kichi Saito. Allow me to welcome you to the Pleasure District. Oh! Before I forget, while you are here, it is strictly forbidden to be uncouth or to unsheathe. You must refrain from any behavior that might stop other guests from enjoying themselves. Please, do not spoil the evening for anyone. I simply mean that you mustn't draw the sword that hangs at your hip. Our guests tend to quarrel about the objects of their desires. I'm sure you can guess what might ensue if the usage of weapons was permitted. Now, if you would kindly follow me. This way, please. So this is the Pleasure District. Here at last, my friend. 
Aye, my. What a place. Definitely a tale or two to be had here, I reckon. The district was only built after the black ships arrived. All kinds of clients come here. Think of this as a place where foreigners and samurai can mingle freely. By the way, did you know that Taka is our most accomplished geisha? It is very rare for her to grant anyone an audience so quickly. You two are very lucky indeed. Please wait in here. Taka will join you in due course. Some more? Oh, thank you, my dear. <laughs> this is quite the place. Aren't you glad we came? Pardon the intrusion. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, allow me to attend to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I have a feeling that this may well be your first time in the Miyazaki district. <clears throat> yes, that's right. This is a place of many pleasures. Enjoy, and leave the real world behind. So it turns out I saw a familiar face on the way in. <sighs> I'd better go and say hello. <clears throat> he is a most delightful gentleman. Did you come to Yokohama together? <laughs> ah, I thought as much. Well, you seem like good friends indeed. May I ask, what brought you to the city? You're not the only one. He is somewhere in the city, it seems, but nobody can find him. Perhaps we will find out soon. Goodness, that's rather forward. But I must confess, I'm rather flattered by your attention. Well, I can't be certain, but I have heard rumors of a certain samurai who came aboard the black ship. Working here, I hear all sorts of things, you know. But, before I say more, I have a little favor to ask. I want you to take photographs of the Pleasure District with one of those fancy new cameras. They say a photograph shows things precisely as they are. Well, I want this place to be captured for posterity. Do that for me, and I will tell you about the samurai who came aboard the black ship. Oh, I forgot to mention, to get a camera, you'll need to go to the photographic studio. I know you won't let me down. Ah, 
it's you. So you're down for the night, are you? <laughs> I did. Unfortunately, he has no clue where Master Showin might be either. This is a place where people know things, but tonight I got nothing. How about you? Have fun? Are you serious? I wasn't even gone that long! You're joking, right? Oh, by the way, my night wasn't a total loss. Turns out I know the person who owns the longhouse nearby. Even Ronin like you need a place to sleep, right? I'll head over and procure a room. Come check it out later, won't you? It's a little rundown, but pretty spacious inside. You can keep a change of clothes or anything you'd like here. I hope you'll find it useful. You know... It's not bad, relaxing together like this. Let's have a little chat.
Oh, what's that? I wanted to do something about this country. There's only so much that can be done in Tulsa, you know. And I'm trying to do what's best for the whole of Japan. That might not mean what's best for Tosa. If I hadn't left, it might have meant trouble for my family. I didn't really have a choice. Ah. This is great! Huh? Right, let's go! Pretty handy, right? You can use it how you like. I'll pop in every now and then. From now on, I'll tell everyone that this is where we're staying. <laughs> that should make things a little livelier. Well, that's it for you and me tonight. But I'm going to keep searching for leads on Master Showin's location. <laughs> Already right at home, eh? Sadly, I should be going. Ah, oh, wait a second. I wanted to give you this. It's a pocket watch. Now you can check the time anytime. Hope you don't mind that it's slightly used. I think you'll still find it handy. Well, see you around. We've heard reports you're making very dubious items in there. Oi! Open this door! Oh, are you? What are you doing here? You look shady to me. Out with it! Who are you? We're under strict orders from Lord E to arrest anyone suspicious. Are you indeed? In that case, we're here for the same reason. Keep an eye out for any miscreants, you hear? We can leave this place to them. Let's continue our patrol. Thanks! That was a big help. 
I owe you. Those nitwits. They think cameras are some kind of weapon. I'd like to give you a demonstration. But I'm afraid my camera is broken. It means I can't earn a living. How is it, Igashichi? Got it working again? I'm afraid not. Without the schematic, I'm at the end of my rope. Ugh, curse those dumped thieves. Are you serious? This isn't good. Those thags have no idea of the value of what they've stolen. But I can hardly just go and ask for them back. Uh, wait. Is that my glider prototype you have there? You managed to get it back from those thieves! Most impressive! Could it work? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it might! I can see it all in my head, the perfect plan. I need those schematics back. And if you help me, I'll give you a camera. Sound good? A clear and rational response. You must have the inventor's spirit. Those thieves have a base in the Mitre Castle ruins, but we can't just stroll straight in. Head to the temple hall nearby. Oh, dear. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igashichi Izuka. Back home in Hitachi, I'm known as Igashichi the Tinkerer. Well, I shall see you there. Dear me, seems he's fired up once again. Well, please do what you can to help him.
you a samurai. Uh, you must help me, for an appropriate reward, of course. Though you might not think it to look at me, I have plenty of coin. Believe me, I'm a merchant from Great Britain. Uh, now, I recently located some coal in the cave over there. But as soon as I had, a band of brigands popped out of the woodwork and stripped me of everything I had. They're still in there, now. I won't stand for it. I won't let them have my coal, my possessions, or my blasted clothes. Pray, could you go into the cave and fetch them for me? Much obliged.
Of course, my wallet's been emptied. God, of all the... Those wretched brutes! Ah, I forget myself. Allow me to thank you. My name is Marcus Samuel, and you have my heartfelt gratitude. I'd hoped to reward you here and now, but I'm afraid those thieves have made that impossible. Would you be willing to come and see me at Yokohama Grand Villa? You'll be generously remunerated, I assure you. I really am telling you the truth, you know. Oh, good. Good. Then I await your visit. the lesson hey you you look like trouble you might be just who I'm looking for rough someone up for me and I'll make it worth your while you interested there's this real piece of work who swindled me out of some money I saw him hanging around the waste ground up ahead come on go and rough him up will you I'll make it worth your while. Much obliged. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Yeah! 
Excuse me, good warrior, but I'd like to ask you something, if... Ah, you hear my plea? Thank you, friend. We've had a wooden figure stolen. A precious one that's enshrined here. I have an inkling who the thief is, and I believe he's nearby. Alas, I'm just a weak and powerless priest. Would you be so kind as to recover the wooden figure for me? It's a figure of Sugawara no Michizane, who is deified as Tenjin, god of learning. From scholarly pursuits to martial and performance arts, he presides over all fields. Many samurai visit our shrine for his blessings, and some of them are quite distinguished. It's a fine thing indeed. Ah, I'm in your debt. Now, to tell you about the thief. I suspect that it's a thug who's recently targeted this area. Night would be the best time to go after him, when he's drunk and rowdy. During the day, he preys on hapless passers-by. Do be careful. Thank you. I need to get going, so if you'll excuse me. So you want the figure too? In that case, let me explain my reasons. My village is poor. So poor, bandits ignore us. And it's been ravaged by disease. We sought help from those nearby, but no one will lift a finger. At this rate, our village will die out. If I could just bring back this blessed image of Tenjin, it would give comfort to those at their store. Please, won't you look the other way? Truly, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. With this, everyone will be able to go to their rest in peace.
So that's what it was for. I see. Very well. I'll speak to His Excellency about sending aids to the village. Ah, Tenjin Sama works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, there you are. Now, listen up. Here's the plan. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it will be suicide. Luckily, we can use my prototype to glide in from here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. Shall we get started? Are you ready to take to the skies? Marvelous! Now just to relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. Time for me to shine, eh? That was 
smooth. Over here. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent! I saw those wretches fleeing for their lives. Oh, my blueprint! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio now what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. It may just be a prototype, but I doubt there's a more compact camera on the face of the Earth. What's more, while regular cameras require time to develop photographs using wet plays and the like, I've come up with a way to speed this process up by... Oh, listen to me. I could jump around about my inventions all day long. Long story short, this camera is marvelously practical. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you use it, you hear? Your banter sound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. This way, follow me. This used to be a fine castle where the Lords of Kira resided. But his best days are now behind it. Come on! Over here. Very well. It's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. Ah! I know! The temple hall where we met is the perfect spot for a photograph. I'm glad to see you like my camera. Impressive, no? And this is just the beginning. There are so many improvements I want to make. Ah, speaking of which, I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> the fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Remember, it's not just cameras I dabble in. If ever I can assist you in some way, just let me know. Wonderful! I would be delighted to help, and I have a feeling you will put my devices to good use. I'm lodging in the photographic studio in Yokohama for the time being. Feel free to come and see me anytime. There are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera, so don't be a stranger, you hear?
How are you faring? Oh, so you've got a camera, it seems. I wonder you got it from Igashichi. Am I right? The thing is, I've got more work than I can handle. So many people want pictures taken. And that's where I was hoping you could help. Would you mind taking some photographs for me? You will be rewarded. Don't worry about that. Did you manage to take the pictures I... I asked you to? I look forward to seeing how you fare. Have you been making good use of my... Now, I wonder if you've ever chanced upon any foreign books. As our nation has opened up, there are more and more of them in circulation. It seems there are many tomes about Western technology and weaponry. I'd love to find them, but I'm far too busy inventing. I know! Why don't you search for books for me? Come on, what do you say? They'll no doubt help me improve my tinkering skills. Let's see what he can do. What would you like me to work on? What would you like me to work on? Oh, hold on. Do you have a moment? I have a little problem that needs solving. Mind if I pick your brains a little? Some officials barged in the other day, demanding that I invent some mechanisms that could be utilized for combat. Of course, I do have some experience in designing tools for clients, but only for those I trust. And these men, I did not. As you'd expect, I refused. So they demanded I hand over some of my inventions, lest I be drugged off and beheaded. Which is when it came to me. The perfect scheme to get one over on them. However, the plan requires some assistance. Please, can I count on you? Truly, I owe you one. I know this is sudden, but can you come to my hidden storehouse with me? I've left some tools there. Come on. Right, let's be off! Hold it, Izu. 
Alaska. Where do you think you're going? Oh, um, just going to pick up some materials. <laughs> you are not fooling anyone, pal. How about I help you concentrate on your work? Of course, they're barely a threat to you. But do it quickly, please. So do you gonna weasel your way out of his bodyguard? I'm putting you down here, and now! Honestly, it seems I can't go anywhere alone anymore. I really appreciate you agreeing to help. Way. Follow me. The Shogunate obviously wants an advantage over its enemies, but I'd thank them not to drag me into their bloody mess. My inventions at my secret storehouse. <laughs> inventions, I say, but it's mostly useless junk. They've served to fool that official for a while, passed off as works in progress. But he's starting to suspect. If this plan doesn't work, well, I think up another one. But with you coming along, I'm sure all will be well. Far now. Damn! Dave sniffed the place out. Fortunately, I've got something handy on. Over here. Why don't you try using this? I made it using a Western clockwork mechanism. It takes in sounds from the surroundings and expresses them visually. It's only a prototype, but you should be able to make good use of it. It's all yours provided this experiment goes to plan. If we don't make it to the storehouse, my scheme will be up in smoke. Well, it should allow you to detect foes in hiding or even through solid walls. I'll hide here until it's over. Use my new device well, and you're bound to have the upper hand.
<laughs> this is where the bastard keeps his toes. Enough for your help, and certainly not with this junk. But if you see anything you like, it's all yours. Ah, you want to use the fire pipe? It's a little dangerous. But all right, let's step outside and try it. Fire the pipe at the barrel over there. Just make sure to keep your distance when you do. Wait! Try to swing more! Hey! Looks like someone's still here! You might as well take whatever they have to Like you frighten off the rest of them. I'll leave the fire pipe to you, along with the figuring out how to use it. Now we have all the tools we need. The next step is to contact Yukichi Fukuzawa to help as well, and go over the plan with him. Fukuzawa's knowledge is vital. He doubles in Western medicine, and is an expert on chemicals as well. Right. Let's split up for now. I'll get Fukuzawa up to speed in the meantime, but let's meet again soon.
このことを。How are you, fan? Oh, it looks like you've embraced the challenge. I look forward to seeing how you fare. Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. <laughs> it isn't me I wish you to photograph, <laughs> but as you like. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. As she saw a woman in a purple sash going up to the roof. She must be losing her marbles. Are you serious? You'll be seeing him again. I don't care about his power, how important he is. You have the goods. The, the, 
there seem to be more than usual. Well, I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. the money very soon. Then I'll pay up and you and me can... you know. Ah, that's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Well, when I met him earlier, he stared at me quite frightfully. But please, forget I said anything. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. We start the scaffold at the front. Then Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? I'll cut you down. Yeah. 
I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Uh. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to look <clears throat> into. Talk <clears throat> right. to the drinks. Knocks around on me. <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. <laughs> 